Gemma and I do like tours and demonstrations and also look after the new common engine here at Elsica. So this engine is the only engine that's still in its original location in the world and its role was to pump water um, out of the coal mines so coal miners could basically keep mining for coal underground um, and we were actually stood on the site of um, so yeah Elska New Colliery here at Elska. So what I'm actually stood next to here is um, two levers. So an engine man would have originally operated both of these both of these levers. So the one here lets steam into the large red cylinder at the back, and then this one would have let water into the cylinder. Now having steam and water together basically creates a, a vacuum in the cylinder. On the next floor of this building, we've then got a piston. So the piston is pushed into the cylinder by using atmospheric pressure. That then pushes the beam down. Now on the other side of the building, we've got a large pumping shaft. So right at the bottom of that shaft, it's about 130 um, feet deep. Um, we've got, um, or the wood have been, um, a large weight. So the weight um, basically helps pull that beam back like that. And then the process starts again, so it's going like <laughs> this, basically. Um, now, the engine here at Elsica, um, it was restored in 2014. So we actually have a hydraulic ram um, in the basement, just down here. Um, and that helps to get the beam to basically move up and down. So people can basically come and see it and we do demonstrations um, throughout the year um, as well so people can come and see it. Um, the reason we've got hydraulics and um, electrics within the engine is because if we ran it on steam again we basically have to replace everything and it wouldn't be um, the original sort of new common engine um, anymore. So back in 1836 um, a lot of um, there were some alterations um, to the engine. There's like an iron beam um, on the engine um, on the new common engine that you see now but originally there were actually wooden beams when this was actually built here back in 1795.